Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Farming Simulator 22 website and reviewing everything that has been announced so far, at least on the website for Farming Simulator 22. Some things will be on this list that we know about and some things will be on this list that we did not know about until today. But since we're one week away from the release, I figured let's check it all out. So if that's why you're here, stay tuned. <laughs> Before we get started, what you want to do is make your way to the Farming Simulator website. It's just farming-simulator.com, and you can find that linked at the top of the description. So that should help you guys out. Once you get in here, go into the top and go to games. And that's quite literally it. It'll bring you to this page, and that's all you need to know. We've got an overview of everything by brand name. We've also got everything in the vehicle section. So things like tractors, telehandlers, things like that. We have harvesters, so this is going to be your combine harvesters, forage harvesters, things like that. We also have equipment like cultivators and cedars and trailers, things like that, plus miscellaneous in here. Well, we got seeds and tires. <laughs> there you go. And of course, screenshots are self-explanatory. So if you guys want to see any of these individually, we will have timestamps below. But let's get started today on vehicles. Going in order, our first brand is AB. This is the push mower that came with the Alpine DLC, and it will be coming back. For Farm Sim 22. Brand Bertha Out, we're getting their self propelled sprayer, the Bruin 4200. We found a crop protection. It's got 300 horsepower, which is pretty good. Goes 60 kilometers per hour, which I think is around 40 ish miles per hour, maybe a little bit more. 36 meter spread and holds 4200 liters. So that ain't bad at all. In Bure, we have their 6105, so the old small tractor that came with the Alpine DLC. The one bit of controversy. Case IH, we have their Maxim, and finally today, we have another tractor, the Magnum AFS Connect. Well, we knew about this tractor already, however, well, there's no more. That can't be the only two Case IH tractors coming with Farming Simulator 22, can it? Can it? I hope not. In Challenger, we have the MT700 series. Great seeing this return to the game. In Kloss, this has been completed for a couple weeks now, but take a look at it anyway we have their arian 660 the axion 870 the axion 960 the axion 960 terra track real cool real excited about that also that was just added to farm sim 20 very cool there if you guys play that it's been out for two years now i can't even tell we also have in their wheel loaders their torian 639 the 956 sinus we have the 11 or 15 11 and the 1914 so four Wheel loaders from Kloss come into Farm Sim 22, plus with their Scorpion, the Telehandler, coming to Farm Sim 22. Very excited there. And Farson, we still have the same thing we've seen every single week. So we have their regular Telehandler, and we have their fully electric Telehandler, but nothing else from them. I'm actually not sure what this other piece of equipment is, so we will have to wait and see. As far as I know, Fent has been completed for a couple weeks now as well. We have their 200 Vario, the 300 Vario, the 500 Favorite, 700 Vario, 900 Vario, the 900 MT, the 1000, real excited about that one, and we have their 1100 Vario MT as well. Big tractors and small tractors from Fent. In Hardy, we have their big sprayer as well. This was new to Farm Sim 19, and it is coming back to Farm Sim 22 from Iseki, the Japanese tractor, the TJV. Very, very cool tractor there. I like that one. A JCB. We know this extra one is a telehandler. 100%. It is official and confirmed. However, we do have the Fast Track 4220 and the 8330 coming back from Farm Sim 19. So, if you used them then, you can use them now. And the brand gens. We've got their big wood chipper, but that is the only thing coming from the brand gens. From John Deere. We've got even more in here today. And there's still more coming soon. It's insane. We have the John Deere 6M series. We also have the 7810, which I know everybody's going to be starting off with. I know I am. We also have the 6R, the 7R, the 8R, the 8RX, the 9R, the 9RT, the 9RX, and of course, their XUV. How cool is that? That is a full setup of John Deere tractors, which makes me really, really curious on what's going to be happening with Case IH. From Uden Heinrich, we have their fully electric forklift. Nothing new to show there. From Komatsu, we have their harvester and their forwarder coming back from Farm Sim 19. From Kron, we have the Big M450. Love that, and we'll love it even more in 22. As far as Kuhn, we have their SPW Intense 25.2 CL, which is going to be running with animals. 25,000 liter capacity in there. That's not going to be bad at all. 
Landini. We only have one tractor from Landini, but the great thing is they are open for mods now. So that is going to be good for everyone who's a fan of Landini. We have the Rex 4 GT working in Farm Sim 22. From Linder, only one tractor from them. The Lindtrack 130. Go check that out. Lizard. Two pickup trucks. We have the pickup 1986 and the 2017. These are going to be the base game pickup trucks for 22. In Mac, we know we're getting the Mac Pinnacle, so no worries there. And we already know about the Superliner 6x4. As far as the Mac Black Anthem, that's going to be a pre-order for us here in the United States and other parts of the world as well. But did you get it in the United States? As far as I know, you will need to pre-order the game at GameStop. I've already talked to guys at GameStop and we'll be getting one of those in. So we'll be able to look at it from Mahindra. We got the Retriever 1000 coming back. From Manor, M-A-N, we have their TGS 18500. This is coming back for, what, the say, third, fourth <laughs> farm sim game in a row. Could care less. I love this truck. And, of course, we have their forestry version of that. From Manitou, well, we have everything coming from there. Three telehandlers and a forklift. Their MTL 625, the 737, and the 840. So, some pretty small, well, 75 horsepower, 129 horsepower, and 141 horsepower, respectively. Real excited to be using these guys around and have options. Massey Ferguson brings us some really cool stuff, but surprisingly, no telehandlers in here, which I was very shocked about. Found that out in the Farm Sim show the other day. Uh, in here, nonetheless, we have their 3700 AL, the 4700, so basically a short wheelbase and long wheelbase versions-ish. Massey 5S, we also have the 6700S, 3670s, older tractor here. This is a medium tractor, so it's not a small boy by any means. We also have their 7710S and the 7720S. Again, a short wheelbase and long wheelbase tractors. And of course, flagship, the 8S. As far as we've seen, no 8700 or 8800, whatever you want to say there. Um, that would be Massey Ferguson's large tractor. And it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing it. I hope we do because that's one of my favorite tractors, period. From McCormick, we have their X Drive uh, or VT Drive X7 and the XA. I know you guys are real excited about those. I am too. From New Holland, I believe we have a complete setup here, so that's good. We have their TK480 methane power, so you're going to need to be doing some work over at the biogas so you can get methane so you can power this thing. We also have their T6, T7 HD, T8 Genesis, T9 with wheels and with tracks. We have their telehandler, which is pretty cool, and then two skid steers making their way back from Farm Sim. 19 big setup big setup from new holland from ponzi we have their cobra and their bison active frame so harvester and a forwarder there for you guys to do logging from printeth more logging equipment here with the raptor 300 this piece of equipment is what the trek 600 was based off of for farm some 19 from black sheep hunting or loosely based rather and then we have their light wolf agri power this is going to be running in your silos so that's pretty cool not the grain silo it's silage silo Rigid Track, a brand that we had quite a few things from in 19 with the Alpine DLC, but only one thing coming with them. Real shocked about that, but it is the electric tractor. I think that was everyone's favorite. I did like their big four wheel drive with four wheel, like four wheel steer. I really like that one. So hopefully we see that as a mod or a day one mod, something like that. From Ropa, we have their Noara Mouse Ropa, which will be found in Miscellaneous. That'll be picking up potatoes i think maybe sugar beets i'm not sure which one this picks up but it picks them up off the ground and uh does a little jig with them from raw smash everyone is ready for this one the rsm 2375 big tractor from raw smash good hype right now hey you guys have the round of dlc for farm sim 19 well you don't need a new dlc anymore for that it's coming as base game in farm sim 19 from schaefer yeah we do have one telehandler coming from them we know we're getting it we just haven't seen it yet. We do have their 23E and the 2630. This is the electric version and the regular version. These are going to be found in front loaders. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we have their articulating telehandler. And we will have a standard telehandler as well. From the brand Steyr, only one tractor. Real shock there, the 8150 small tractors. But again, this is going to be a great starting tractor. It's going to match really nice with John Deere Massey. There's Strauman. We have a 17,000 liter animal mixer. That is coming back from Farm Sim. Oh, yeah, from Farm Sim 19. Plus, Valtra. Again, another brand that I think people want to see more than one, but I think we're going to see some day one mods from Giants from Valtra. I don't know that for sure. That's just totally a hunch or you know, anything like that. So just be ready. We may be seeing more from these guys. The G-Series and the Valmont 8750. Going to be using that one for sure. A couple more here. We have the Versatile 4-Wheel Drive. Everybody knows it. Everybody's ready. 
And from Zeta or Zutor, we have the Major CL, Proxima HS, Forterra HSX, and the Crystal HD. Beautiful tractors from Zeta. But don't worry, there is more to come. Next, we're going to make our way into Harvesters. Now, there's not a whole lot going on in here, but we do have some new stuff to share, especially from John Deere. You guys are going to love it. So in here, starting out with Capeo, we have their Helianthus 5700, as well as their 12,000. That's the 12 meter sunflower header that has been added as of this week. We also have their Diamond 8 and the Diamond 12. So those are going to be six meter and nine meters respectively, as well as added we also have their Spartan 610, the 6.1 meter forge header that will take everything and rock and roll with it. So there you go. That is everything from Capello from Case IH. And here we have their Axle Flow 9250. So we have the big combine we knew about, Sugar Cane Harvester, the Cotton Harvester, and then we have their 41 Terraflex. Now, added this week, as far as I know, added this week anyway, is the Terraflex Draper 45 foot. So this will be rocking back with us. So we will have this as well as a big corn header as well. 10 meter corn header, pretty big stuff. Plus there is more to come. Question is what else could we be missing here? What else could we be missing? We got the cotton harvester. We got sugar cane. We've got a regular harvester. I don't think we're going to be getting any forge harvesters from Case IH. I don't even know if they make those. So maybe more combine harvesters. I am down. And added this week, we have the Lexian 8900 added. Oh, yes. So we have the class Tryon 750 or 750, 720. We knew about this. This is one of like the big tractors of Farm Sim 22. However, we have the class Lexian 8900 coming back from the class DLC in Farm Sim 19. Of course, we also we have the Jaguar 960 Terra Track. So we got that as well. Big, big harvesters coming from class. As far as headers go, we have the Combio Flex 1080 and the 1380. So we will have the 13.8 meter, a big header for the Lexian. Is Lexian? Yeah, Lexian. As far as corn headers go, we're going to have two of them. We have the Corio 875. It's going to be six meters going with the smaller combine, the Triumph. And then for the Lexian, the nine meter version right there. As far as the Forge Harvester, it's actually got four headers so we have a pickup header that you can use to pick up hay or yeah hay and grass and then we have a forge header which will cut up like wheat barley sorghum stuff like that turn it into chaff and then we have two chaffing corn heads right here we have a seven and a half meter and we have a nine meter it's gonna make quick work a lot of cool stuff happening from Klaus. i'm really excited about that from Deutz farm uh, they have said that these are the only ones coming from Deutz farm the only combine so top liner 4090 hts and the header that goes along with it. That's a six meter header, by the way. So it's not small by any means. From Fent, of course, we knew about this. We have their ideal. We will be getting the 8.9 and I believe the 10T as well because we get that big 790 horsepower engine in there. Uh, and we do have capacity ranges here as well, which is something we did not have with Farm Sim 19. So cool to see there and a Forge Harvester header. And then, of course, we have their headers, the 12 meter versions here. I'm not sure what Heather you're going to use, but I'll show you which one I'm going to be using here in just a second, but not from Grimmy. These are potato and beet harvesters. None too crazy there. In John Deere, this is where I want to talk about the fun stuff that we get to see today. So we've got the T560 coming back from Farm Sim 19. We know we're getting that and we know we're getting the X9 1100. So we're getting a smaller combine, kind of a, I think it's what a lot of people use starting off in Farm Sim 19 and we're getting probably what everyone's going to finish with because this was one of the last mods that was released as well. Seen here, we do have the European badging and the uh, signs on it. However, we know that those are not going to be there as well. So you can make this a EU or a US version. Great. That is awesome. Thank you, Giants. <laughs> I'm losing my breath here. We got the 9000 series forge harvester and we have their cotton harvester as well coming back from the cotton DLC in 19. Here's the fun part. Don't get ahead of me right here either. <laughs> And here we have the 625X. This is going to be working with our uh, T560. And then we have the HD 45X. This 13.7 meter header. Cool there. Now, you guys said that you thought you saw it, and you did. The 15.2 meter, I believe that's the 50 foot header right there. That is pretty ridiculous. As far as corn headers that we're going to be getting with them, we get the 608 or the 6 meter corn head and we're getting the c16f which is 12 meters 16 rows to go with the x9 it's gonna be stupid and then we have five heads to go with the forge harvester we've got a pickup and then we have four 
regular head. So this one's going to be four and a half meters. We have a six meter, seven and a half and a nine meter as well. Tons of cool stuff happening with John Deere right now. I am pumped. The Red Team needs love. Not Kemper, but we will take a look at these nonetheless. So from Kemper, we have their uh, pickup. So that's going to be a three meter wide pickup for grass and hay. We also have for forage harvesting for doing, you know, corn chaff, four and a half meter, six meter, seven and a half meter and a nine meter. And then we have a support wheel that will go along with those as well. You could attach that. We had a, uh, I think it was the Kemper pack that released for Farm Sim 19 free DLC, which is really cool. But these will work. These actually hook up, but it's nice to see that this is separate because in Farm Sim 19, it was not separate. So that's cool. From Krona, not a whole lot going on here extra. Only stuff that we knew about. We're getting the big X1180. We're getting their easy flow. So the pickup right there, three meter. We're getting the one that turns everything into chaff. And then we're getting a nine meter forge header. So there you go with all that. New brand that we saw last week, smaller forge header or forge thing right here. Yep. Uh, this bad boy is going to be rocking with, I believe, three points. Some of you guys were talking about it looked like there was three point here. I'm still not 100% on how this works, but I'm really excited to see it in game, live in action. Massey Ferguson, just the ideal to talk about here. We'll have the same engine, so I believe, and capacity as well. And we even got the same 12 meter header, so that is cool. From New Holland, uh, don't know if there's anything new to share here today, but we will talk about it nonetheless. We have the CH770, which I believe is the only combine harvester from New Holland. Coming to Farm Sim 22, very shocking and kind of sad there. Uh, we have their New Holland FR780. We've seen this for a while now, and we got it back. The broader uh, brood 9070 and the 9090. So we're doing grapes and we're doing olives, and we now know olive technology will be separate from grape technology. As far as headers go, we're going to get a 25 foot header and the 28 foot header. One of these was just added as well as the corn head was just added as well. We're getting a six meter corn head to match. And then as far as the forge harvester, we have five heads to go along with it. We have the only poplar header. So if you guys want to make uh, poplar or sugar, or <laughs> sugar beans, if you guys want to make any type of wood chips from poplars, this is the one header you have to use. Plus we have some stuff for doing chaff. So we have a four and a half meter, six meter, seven and a half and a nine meter version right there. From Ropa, we have stuff for doing beets, beets, and beets. Yeah. So <laughs> you got two beet uh, beet harvesters and then one that picks beets off the ground and puts them through a little thing. From Raw Smash, just one to talk about here. Not two combines coming with them, just the one. Raw Smash Nova 330, Power Stream 500. Ziegler, of course, their little corn header. I still don't know why we still have this, but hey, rock and roll with it, my man. Rock and roll with it. And then more coming soon. Equipment is always the section that takes the longest. Generally, this is about half of the video. So uh, just a heads up, this is going to take a while. So if you want to fast forward through some parts of this, I'm going to be going in alphabetical order. So heads up there. Let's start with Agco. We got their weights, all four of them, 650, 1100, uh, 1500, and 2300 kilogram weights. Big old weights for you guys to be using there. From AgriSim, we've got all their stuff. I hope you like subsoilers because that's all we're getting from them. We've got their disc of vine, which is going to be working in your vineyards. We also have a three meter and four meter of the combi plows, which is a subsoiler. Uh, and then we have their big eight meter. Yes, that's all coming back. As far as agrimass, here we have their POV5. We have the BTC50, so a plow, a disc arrow, and a planter. Very cool to see all of those. From Albuds, it's got the word butt in it, which makes it super funny. We have a lot of stuff front loader, so get ready for that. Universal bucket, manure fork, fork with grapple, so manure fork with grapple. We also have a silage cutter. You guys use those if you're running silage pits. Bell spike, bell handler for doing wrapped bells. We also have another round bell, whether you're doing... Uh, any round bell there you go we have the bell king which we had a mod in farm sim 19 kind of like this but it was a lizard brand and then of course we have a pallet fork a little log fork a silage and then we have another log fork those are going to be for wheel loaders there at the very bottom so that's from the brand all butt has the word butt in it makes it super funny from alpago we have their disc arrow and a power harrow both of these are going to be three meters so heads up there from Amazon, we have big stuff right here. Not a three meter cultivator, it's a four meter cultivator. We also have a three meter power harrow. We have a three meter cedar with power harrow connected. We have a big cedar right here, 15 meter. That's gonna be my new favorite cedar right there. We also have their four and a half meter planter, a 3.2, 32, 42, 42 meter fertilizer spreader. And finally from Amazon, 
the ZGTS 10,000 liter, 42 meter spread fertilizer spreader. Real excited for that. Amazon brand is finished. So it's like Christmas day right now. From Amity, we have their big beet cart. Well, it's 45,000 liters. That thing is insane. From Anderson, everything is here. And it was last week as well. We have their bio baler, which takes poplars, turns them into um, poplar bales. There you go, wood chip bales. We also have from, same brand, a piece that kind of pushes stuff out of the way. If you're doing poplar bales, you want this as well. Trust me, it makes it easier. We have a round bale collector. We have a... Uh, hybrid and the extractor. So both of the extractors coming back from the Anderson DLC as well as their forestry loader and the round bell breaker upper pro chop. There you go. That's good. <laughs> I don't even remember what that's called. Never use those from Anna Burger. We have their field liner, big trailer, 55,000 liters, but that is the only thing from them from APV grassland care. I have no idea what it is. Would love to know. You guys know, let me know, because I would love to know. In Arcusen, we have their D14 Baby Bailer Stacker. We have the regular bell stacker, and then we have regular square bell auto loader. So that is cool. It's probably going to be the most popular piece at the beginning. Over here from Bednar, we have their big subsoiler, six meters. That came with Farm Sim 19, brand new. In the brand Bergman. We're done. It's totally finished this week. So we've got their big Bergman trailer. It's going to hold 56,400 liters. We have their big auger wagon. This is going to hold 33,000 liters. As far as their auger wagon here, I think this one knows potatoes, if I remember correctly. Potatoes or sugar beets. Uh, and then we also have a manure spreader as well. 25,000 liters there. And a forage wagon, which will do lo loading from the ground. 45,000 five or 49,500 liters there. A lot of good stuff coming from them. From Bachman, we still have more happening here. Uh, we've been sitting on this for like a month and a half. It feels like we've got the regular trailer and the reefer trailer. And I don't know what else is coming from them. I have no idea. From Bomek added this week, we have the Profi 2115 and the Multi 4XL. That is going to be 21 meter and a 30 meter spread respectively. As far as I can tell, these are drag hoses for doing slurry. From Bratner, we are not done yet here, but we do have plenty of things. Trailer, 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 and manure spreader. So there you go. Everything coming with the brand Bratner. From Breedle, unfortunately, still nothing to share here. We've been sitting on this for a while as well, but we do have their fertilizer spreaders. That is going to be a 9,000 to 14,000 liters and 15,600 to 18,950 liters. Still this is the big boy. Unfortunately, only 18 meter spread. So you may want to go with the Amazon if you want a wider spread. Not sure which will get it done quicker. From Bremer, <laughs> still catch my breath here. We have their transport wagon. Love this thing. Drops down. Very cool. Can't wait to show you guys that in game. That's going to be a lot of fun. From Briri, we are done here. We got the manure spreader, which is 140 horsepower, 12 meter spread, 14,000 liter capacity. And we have their slurry tanker. This is not a spreader. It is the tanker, so it's going to tank stuff to your slurry stiff. From Case IH, everything's been here for a couple weeks now. We have two disc arrows. We've got a smaller 9.5 meter and a larger 12.5 meter. And then we have their big baler. Unfortunately, this does not say what capacity the bells will be. Maybe it will be random. I know the round balers will make different sizes, so we'll find out. From Gloss, we have everything. <clears throat> everything indeed. Clears throat, reads the rest. Carrot 14D. We got a, a little trailer right there for you guys to use. I like that. I think that's cool. We also have a loading wagon. This is going to be 44,000. So you can use that for a loading wagon uh, or a forge wagon, whichever you like. We have a baler right here for us. So that's cool. Nice round baler, square baler. And then we have a front loader, the FL140. I believe that's going to be working with their, yeah, their, their uh, smaller tractor in game. As far as header trailers, we have two of them. We've got one for doing regular headers, so that's going to be the Corio 1275. And then we also have for the direct disc, you guys are using the Forge. Weights, yep, we got those two. 600, 900, and 1800 kilogram weights. We'll likely be able to add more to these as well, but we'll find out for sure once the game releases. From the brand Convey All, we got something new in here today. Of course, we knew about the CST 1550. That's going to be a 43,800 bottom dropping trailer, but... This right here, the Convey All 1690 belt system. This is actually what's going to raise up. You are going to dump in your crop here from, well, you could <laughs> simply use their trailer if you want to, but it unloads through bottom loaded trailer and goes into the top of silos. If you guys saw the most recent fact sheet video that we did, 
Well, we had new silos. Check this out. That's going to be what fills it. Really, really cool. From the brand Dalba, everything from mulching, rolling, and grass care. Rollers are going to push the stones back into the ground. Mulchers will mulch up the stuff. And grassland care, I have no idea. I really wish I did. From Demcon, we have their forestry planter. We've seen that a couple games in a row now. From Tegelman, of course, you guys were ready for these, excited for these. We will be getting them. They're big stone pickers. Very cool there. From Demco, I don't know if this is new this week or not. I, I knew about it. So we're just going to talk about it as if it's new. The Demco 2200 dual auger grain cart. Uh, they talked about dual augers being on the bottom. So that is cool there. 77,500 liters. 400 horsepower is recommended for that auger wagon. You're going to want it. Massive. I love that. Dewey's Farm, you got your header trailer for the combine, but that is it. Duval's Door, everything for running silage and grassland care again. Wish I knew what that was. Uh, we've in past games, this deleted build. So we'll see what it does in this next game. We got levelers and we got silo compactors. We got a 2.6 meter and we have a 3 meter. So use whatever you need to respectively. Moving on to the next row from Einbach Weeders. Hope you like them because they got them here. Six meters, nine meters, another nine meter, but different version. And then we have a 12 meter weeder. Feels weird to say. From El Hall, the mower. Told you. Told you the mower. I was here last week as well. So there's that. We got the big stone picker. We knew about that. And now the Duet 7300. This is a 7.3 meter mower, but it does not require a third middle mower. It's just one long mower. And that's that's awesome. From Elmer's, this is new on the list today. The Hallmaster is coming back and with 3D tracks. Beautiful. 400 horsepower is recommended. Capacity anywhere from 46,000 up to 70,000. That's a really cool piece of machinery. From Farson, we have their big 24,000 liter uh, food mixer. So that's cool if you guys are doing cows or anything like that. From the brand Farmax, we've got their big spaders. These are big disc arrows and they just dig into the ground. Just, arr, 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 arr. It's like a velociraptor. I love it. Yeah, we're getting three of them. <laughs> From Farmat, we're getting their big cultivator. This is a 15.7 meter, five hundo horsepower is recommended for that. Be ready. It's going to need some work. From the brand Farm Tech, we are full today. I think we were last week as well, but we'll take a look at them. We have their Fortis 3000. That's a big 45,000 liter trailer. We have their Vario Fex 750 manure spreader. This is going to be for doing your vineyards. Uh, eight meters spread at 4,900 liters. Only 94 horsepower required for that, by the way. You can use that in the field too if you want. It not really matter. Um, as far as slurry tanks, we've got two of them. The first one is going to be one that just spits it out the back. 15 meter spread, 8,200 liter capacity. And we have their Polysys 1550. And this is going to be a drag hose version. 15 meters at 15,500. Plus, we've got a bell loader from them. Really neat. Very, very cool. From Fent, yes, we have a piece of equipment from Fent. And it's a stupid heavyweight. 3,300 kilograms. Be ready, baby. Be ready. Do we have finals for the brand Flegel? Looks like we do. So... From Flegel, we have a trailer, says a working width of 12 meters. So this is a manure spreader through and through, it says trailers, but I believe in real life this has the option. I think we have this mod in Farm Sim 19, actually. This will be a trailer or manure spreader. Over here, we also have the Flegel TMK 273, can be found in trailers, 40,000 liter capacity there, pretty crazy. We do have slurry tank, 225 horsepower, 15 meters, 18,000 liters, very, very standard through there. We have the Schmetterling bell loader. It's got all three or two bells, rather. We have a big timber runner. You guys know this? You're familiar with this? Check it out. And then we also have their silo compactor as well. And I have the hiccups. This is going to be fun. And a Ruby 2000, 2300 liter capacity for front loader tools, which is quite a bit for front loaders. I'm really excited to see how this works because it's got what looks to be some type of mixer in there. Maybe we were going to be able to use this to do food mixing for your animals. That would be cool. Plus, we have a big Flegel low loader. A lot of equipment. Go, oh, we got so much to go here. It's going to be a 20-minute section. For Furman, grape technology, three trailers, 6,000 liters, 12,000 liters, 14,500 liters. Get them if you want them because they hold grapes. From Gesner, we have their sugar cane planters. We have a single row and a double row. If you guys have been using those since 17, you know exactly what they are. From Grimmy, tell me we got them all got it all yeah so we have a 4.2 meter potato planter nope kidding three meters we have a six meter potato planter that has been with us for a while 
We've got a something meter, 3.2 topper. We've got a 1.8 meter, 10,000 liter capacity harvester. There's so much going on here. And then for sugar beets, we've got another topper, a harvester, and then we have belt systems to run everything. This belt system right here is unique because it will actually palletize things for you, which is really, really cool. From the brand Hardy, we're not done yet. I don't know what else we would have in here. I gotta be honest with you. We've got everything that I thought we were getting from them. I'd be happy with this setup. We've got stuff for doing grapes. So in your vineyards, you've got a sprayer here. Very nice. That'll work great for you guys. We've got a front tank. We've got a rear tank with a spread. It's going to be 24 meters, 1200 liters. And then we have their big, big sprayer between 27 and 33 meters and 4,500 liters. Heads up, by the way, sprayers have individual controls now in Farm Sim 22. So whether you're playing on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, you will have section control. It won't be individual to be like, I think he said four or six sections, maybe eight total throughout the entire sprayer, but you will be able to set section control. That is big. They haven't even talked about that yet. I don't even know if I just got in trouble for saying that, but hey, if you heard me say it, let me know. <laughs> With augers for haul, we've got their big auger wagon, 43,000 liters. We've got another auger wagon right here, 50,000 liters, another auger wagon for 24,000 liters. That one's fun. And then we have a manure spreader. 12 meter spread, 16,500 liter capacity. In Heizamat, we have their big, big, the big 16,000 liter. Not too bad, but it'll log in, get out wood chips. Kind of nice return on that. <laughs> Laura, so you got everything for doing silage. So two levelers, a silo compactor, and then a piece for wheel loaders. It's going to load on the front, 3,500 liter capacity. So it's not too bad. Get the work done. From the brand horse, we got a cultivator and a disc arrow. Three meter cultivator. Don't read too much into it. Let's move on from John Deere. Yeah, we have so much going on with John Deere. It's not even funny. In here, we have their 1775 NT planter. I believe this is very similar to the DB60, but it's just their newer version. And then we have three front loaders. I imagine these are going with the 6R, 7R, and 8R, or maybe the 6M, 6R, 7R, something like that. Doesn't really say, but I mean, we're getting them, so that's cool. Ooh, these have different hookups to them. I wonder if we're getting different hookups. That's be pretty cool. Three weights, actually four weights. We have a 900, 1150, and 1800. Then we're getting the Large Forge Easy 1700. Now, some of you guys were saying that this goes on the 7R, the 8R. Some people were saying it goes on other tractors. I'm not sure, but I can tell you we will find out once, well, once we can find out. We're getting close. Uh, on here, we have the Radium from Cueco. Nothing new there. It's been here since day one, sitting all by itself. From Kessla, we have their big forestry. I'm saying the word big a lot. That is tiny. From Kenzie, everybody's excited about these. A couple disc arrows, and we have a couple planters as well. We got the 3665 Blue Drive. That is 300 horsepower, 12 meters, 3,876 liter capacity. And then we have their large 4905 Blue Drive planter, 350 horsepower, 18.2 meter working with 70 or 7,068 liters. So this is probably going to be the most popular planter in the game i'm going off on a limb moving on from nosh mulcher surprise from cokerling uh we still have more to come we do have two cultivators we have something between a 5.7 and 8 meter and then we have something that is between both of those a six meter Ta-da! doing magic over here from grant we've got their slurry tanks two that you put in the field and run back and forth and then one that you put on a trailer and run back and forth and moving on from Crampy, we have everything from them. Two trailers. We have a regular trailer, tub trailer, and we have a semi-trailer plus a dolly to run stuff through there. That's nice. Agriliner. Hey, two things from here from Kroger. We have their normal trailer right here. So not the HDK and the TDK. We just have the muck. <laughs> 29,500 liters there. And then we have a bell trailer from them. Very cool. From Krona. Well, windrow and a header trailer for the disc. Not a whole lot there. From Crone Trailer, we have, well, an enclosed trailer. This is going to be great for running pallets, stuff like that. Load them up, and you're good to go. Very cool there. Taking a breath from the Grand Cune, we have a Power Harrow, Power Harrow, Subsoiler, Cedar, which has also got a Power Harrow in it. We got a front tank, which will run with just about anything you want. Then we got another Power Harrow with a Cedar. That's six meters. That is insane. Then we've got another six meter, but this one's tightly different. 
takes breath. Then we have planter, and then we have manure spreaders, and a mower, and a mower, and a mower, and a mower. Oh, no, that's a tatter. And we have a windrower, and another windrower, and another windrower, and a round baler, and a square baler, and a bell wrapper, and something that eats bells, and more coming soon. Oh, moving on. What else do we have? <laughs> We're about halfway done. Rubble Confirmed Lynn, it doesn't look like we've got everything from them. We do have a couple plows. We have a subsoiler, a mower, and a bell wrapper. All this stuff is coming back from the Farming Simulator 19, whether it be from base game or whether it be from the Confernal and Viking DLC. More to come regardless there as well, so keep a lookout for it. And same with the brand Limpkin. We got a new stuff here. So we got a big plow, we got a cultivator, cultivator, planter, and then we have the front tank for the planter right here. We do have more coming soon, so be ready for those. From the brand Lizard, this ended up last week, but we'll show you guys everything again. We have the Sugarcane Harvester from Lizard that some giants put together in 17. Still got it here in 22. From Cotton Technology, we've got a single round or single square bell, and then we have a double round or square bell right there. We have stuff for doing round bells as well. We'll get to that. And then we have the MKS 8 and 32 coming back with a little bit of a refresher from Farm Sim 19. So great to see those. I'm sure modders will find a way to make those awesome <laughs> and i'm going to as well add some zeros baby update mass equals false and a belt system party baby from magzy you guys like doing wheel loaders and tail handler tools well they gotcha as far as wheel loaders go we've got a high dump bucket it's gonna hold 3500 liters we got a log fork and we've got pallet forks for wheel loaders generally you're not using pallet forks on wheel loaders but we do have them if the time arrives now for telehandlers we've got a bell fork we've got a wrapped bell handler we have a bucket for those, 2,640 liters. That's nothing to slouch at. We've got a big manure fork, 1,760 liters. It's small, but it is what it is. Log fork, and then we also have a pallet fork for doing telehandler work as well. All for Magsy. Good to see those. Massey Ferguson, that's right. We got equipment for Massey Ferguson. Sugar cane and a beaver. Baby Baylor, yeah, let's go. I'm so excited for that. From uh, McCormack Industries, this is going to be what you're going to be handling your round cotton bells with. So we have their cotton wheelie grab. This hooks up via three point, and you kind of raise up the arm, grab a hold of the round bell, and take off with it like you stole it. And then you can bring it near this machine, and this will take like three of them and be like, look, I have three of them. And that's exactly how that works. We also have a high dump bucket, 4,000 liter. I think this is the largest bucket that we've got base game. And then we've got a bell fork, which works with wheel loaders as well. I don't think this is specifically for doing cotton technology, but uh, it's certainly going to make it a little bit easier. From the brand Meridian, we saw this in today. Now, the silos are missing, but that's not a piece of equipment. That's a placeable. And as you know, placeables are not on here. We don't have any placeables. So... We do have this though. This is cool. We saw that you can use your eyes and there it is. <laughs> Moving on from Nardi, we have a header trailer brand. So they've added, I think two of these today. So we've got a N20T, the 40B, don't know what the numbers mean, 40BX, maybe that's wider, bigger. Can you guys see a difference between this one and this one? Not sure. Then we have uh, larger, larger, larger versions. We have a little bit of a chunky boy in the front doubles in the front and another little chunky boy in the front 60 40 60 45 i'm gonna guess that is meters maybe 20 meter header there's no way that's 40 meters because these are well, you know what there's more coming soon and that's really all that matters we have a new header trailer brand from new holland just the high density baler this is exactly like the case baler and probably will have the exact same functions of customization to go along with it from nordson we knew about the power hair for a while but we still have more coming soon from them, so be heads up for there. For skid steers, everything that you're used to using in Farm Sim 19 for skid steers is coming back, hopefully with better customization as well. So we have their pallet and high dump bucket, 1,284 liters. We have a pallet fork, a bell spear. We have a manure fork that's going to hold 710 liters. We have a wrapped bell handler, stump grinder, and the brush and log fork. All of that will be returning, plus from pottinger yes so we have a plow real tiny plow 1.2 meter that's coming back from the alpine dlc i believe we also have from the uh yep that one big big cultivator a couple mowers i'm sure you guys will be super happy to see these it's a 10 meter right there so that's cool and we also have a tetter a tetter a windrow forge wagons like three of them and then we have a round baler and then we have a round baler plus wrapper 
This right here, I mean, you just got to get it. It makes three different sizes of round bells and it will wrap the two smallest. So I believe it's one and a half meter or one and a quarter meter, one meter, and then one and three quarters or 1.8 meter or something like that. And it'll wrap the two smaller ones. So be ready for that. We'll at least have two different sets of wrap bells from Prentice. We have stuff for them from Forestry. So we have a piece that hooks up via, I think, three point and works very, very similar to the Printeth Big R. And then we have a stump grinder. So we have both of those. Yes, the Big R. That's a moving on. We have the grape pruner. You will need that doing grapes. You have no choice. From Quickie, we have a bunch of front loader stuff for them. So we have their Q3M, the 4M, the 5, the 6. We have the 7. So that's seven, I mean, that's a well, 140, that's not too bad. Plus we have two, not one, but two bell handler, big bag handlers. So it's gonna be a single and a double. That's gonna look awesome. Very, very cool. From the brand Raby, we have the EG39, big cultivator, 2.5 meters, super big. Uh, then we <laughs> moving on, we have their uh, Ropos potato technology. Ropos in every single category just about today. Uh, this is going to be 1.8 meters for rocking out potatoes. And then you've also got a beet header and a beet chopper. So we have four meter and we have the 2.7. Look, doesn't look like the five meter is going to be coming back. Heads up there. And then we have a header trailer for the uh, 9X45. Good to have that. And we're all smashed. We have a big cultivator from those guys. Yeah. 375 horsepower, 12.2 meter working with. Use this with the Ross Mash tractor and you have the perfect match made in heaven. Only two trailers from Rudolph. I imagine that this is where the Kroger Agriliners got beat out. As you can see, we have a TDK and this is a TDK as well. Uh, we know we're getting the HDK. It'll be right here. Hopefully we'll see it coming soon from Smaz in here. We have their windrow, but uh, 8.4 meter. That's not too bad actually. And then we know we're going to be getting their snow plow, but they haven't posted it yet. From Samson, we have everything from Samson now. We have uh, their two manure spreaders. We have a 24 meter spread, 22,000, almost 30, 000, or 23,000 capacity. Then we have a 24 meter at 30,000 capacity. One slurry trailer, 34,500 capacity. And then we have an injector, seven meter cultivator. And then along with that, we have a 36 meter drag hose. We're getting close, I promise. From Schluten, we have the VT-130 and the Spider SP. This is going to be a slurry tanker, 13,000 liter capacity, and a 6.8 meter injector. So we will be getting those. Shooter Maker, just the one trailer today, and that is it. Sep Nussel F240 mower. Gotta get that SIP. Ah, Windrows, those are coming back. Hit them up. And then from Strauman, we got good stuff in here. We got the Aperion 3400, that's a big trailer. 52,000 liter capacity. We've also got a manure spreader from them, 24 meters, 34,300 liter capacity. We've got a forge wagon from those guys, 23,000 liter capacity. And we also have another forge wagon, 50,000 liter capacity, not more, not less. This is cool right here. Thunder Creek equipment. You need to get your fuel around. We got you fam. TMC Casella, do we have everything from them? It looks like we do. Hope you like mulchers because that's all they do. So get ready for it. Yay! Traveler, we got their big weeder. Yep, yep. Uh, from TT, we have their sugar cane. Har yep, the thing that you put sugar cane in. Uh, from Vaderstad, we have cultivator, cedar, and a planter. Get hype for those. Newest, well, we got two tankers from them. I think last week we may have had this one, but this week we got this one as well, something like that. Anyway, we have a 20,000 and a 30,000 liters there. From Vicon, only one thing from them at the FedEx 904. That is it. Everybody's been talking about these. Oh, yeah. The Walkabout WMB 4000 and the 6000. Um, I'm not sure. I think that's 4000 bushels and 6000 bushels. I'm not sure. I don't know bushels versus liters or even anything about this brand. All I know is nine, nine, really? We needed nine axles? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, these are mother bins at the end of the day. 300 horsepower, 400 horsepower respectively. Smaller one, 141,000 liters. And the larger one, 211,400 liters. Everybody's been talking about these. Get ready for it. From Weber, we've got their silo compactor. Let's go back from 17. From Wiegler, we have our Velger. Welker? I don't know. This is going to be a trailer. Holds uh, 8,000 liters. I imagine this will probably be a starting trailer on your farm. So, be ready to see a lot of that. In Wilson, well, we've got them right there. Uh, Load King, 
Well, we're, we know we're getting the Load King Distinction as well as Load King Super Beast, but, well, we haven't seen them. So, just heads up, we know we're getting them, we just haven't seen them. And from Zoonammer, we have two Slurry Tanks and we have an Injector. It's going to be 6.2 meter Injector. We're coming soon. Wow, that was a 26 minute clip. Yikes! In miscellaneous today, unfortunately, there's nothing new to share with you guys. We still have the same stuff that we've had since Farm Sim like first showed off. We got a big bag, we've got a pallet of fertilizer, and we've got more pallets of quite literally more fertilizer. This is uh, interesting though. We have the Epso Top liquid fertilizer and then solid fertilizer there, plus a big bag of solid fertilizer. I'm sure we'll be getting more. In Trelleborg, we have all of their tires that are going to be available. Mainly modders will use this stuff. I'm already getting the yawns here. Yawn counter plus one. Ah, it's a long video, man. Uh, we got all the trailer board tires. So modders, these are all of the trailer board tires that you will have to work with. Of course, you can model more, make your own, but these are the ones that you will be uh, stuck with, at least to start with. And please, can we put this on more equipment? Because I love this trailer. <laughs> tire uh that being said i can't say too much the t404 still holds a special place in my heart and more coming soon and lastly well we'll end it off with some screenshots we'll go back to the beginning maybe show you guys a few pieces of equipment that we got to see so this right here was an original screenshot when farm sim 19 or 22 was first shown off um as this one was as well these are both from the american map so heads up there Beautiful landscape. I am loving it. This one right here, also from the American map. We can see the train over here. That's something they haven't shown very much, the American train, but we know it's going to match pretty much exactly from Farm Sim 19. I don't think much is going to change there. Those are grapes. Then we can see here we've got the 9070L Broad from New Holland. This is going to be doing all your grape harvesting. This is inside the New Holland uh 10 9 7 7 70 7 70 there you go it's inside the 770 you got 95 million dollars hopefully 95 million dollars comes standard with the uh, rich redneck mode which is not a thing but wouldn't that be cool and here's the rudolph trailers i was talking about the hdks we know we're getting them we know Put it on the website. You showed it off months ago. Uh, as far as everything else here, you can see the Kuhn SPW. I believe this is what holds 25,000 liters. Great for feeding your cattle. So that is nice. And here you can see an AgriSim uh, Disco Vine. And then we've got the small Landini as well. This is going through everything. Cool there. You can see here your olives. Yeah, so that's what the olives look like. Pretty cool. Here is when the American farms, uh, which we know we're getting multiple farms on each map. This is just one of the farms on the American map in autumn. Here is on the American map as well, but this is in all of these. So you've got spring, summer, fall, and you've got winter. Beautiful picture there. Samas, see, I told you it's right here. Giants, we can see it. You can put it on the website. It's cool. And then lastly, we've got a shot from one of the American farms as well. This is a different farm. And in here, you can see we've got a little area down at the bottom. Well, that area down at the bottom is accessible. So there you go. That is everything that we know about so far. One week out of nine days, I guess, awake fr away from Farm Sim 22's release. Get it while it's hot. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was very, very long, and I'm real tired. I'm ready to edit this and go to bed. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, drop a like. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you have not pre-ordered the game yet in your own PC and you would like to, uh, I've got some codes in the description that you guys can check out. Use code DJGoHam. That will help support the channel. No additional cost to you. 100% of the proceeds go towards giveaways. So thank you to everyone in advance and after for making purchases through that. You guys are awesome. All right, Seth, hope you have a great day. See you later. I'm going to bed. Peace.